You've got to have a plan. You've got to figure out what you're going to do in advance. It doesn't have to go perfectly. Sometimes you're going to have left turns and right turns. But if you plan it, just like your workouts, chances are you'll do it. All right? Your plan is your who and your when. All right? Who are you going to talk to? And what are you going to do what you need to do to make sure that you get what you want? This is huge. A purpose and a plan, just like with the workouts. Another thing, consistency. You now officially work for yourselves. You can't go back to the man, take the card, click, click. All right, nice. This job sucks, this job sucks. Can't wait to get out of here, I don't care. All right, click, and click. Oh, hey, traffic, this is... Get out of my way! You now work for yourselves. Now you're at home. You don't get up at noon. I think I'll go on the internet and see what's going on there. Yeah, maybe I'll do some of that coaching stuff. Oh, crap. I'll do it tomorrow. Your job is to turn this job into a real job. You know, if you want what you want, if you want the success that I know that you can have, then you've got to be consistent. Figure out what time you're going to get up just like you're going to go to work. All right? Figure out who you're going to talk to, what you're going to do, what webinar you're going to, you're going to participate in, what event you're going to go to. This is huge. Purpose, a plan, and consistency. Number four, variety. So you're working, you're working, got your plan, boom, didn't work. If you do it again, what does Einstein call insanity? Doing the same things over and over again, expecting a new result. I don't know why. I'm not getting the results I was hoping for. I've been on the elliptical now three days a week for the last 10 years. <laughs> and still have that same look in the mirror. Get off the elliptical. Do something crazy. Be unique. Be unusual. Live outside of your comfort zone. This is important. And number five, I talked about this to a lot of the team events. That was my time. 10 minutes. I think I'll go into Shabbasana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number five, and what I think is really important, and this is the core of Beachbody, this is the core of who I am as an adult man who wants to be successful, and that is integrity. You can cut corners, you know, it could all be about, you know, being a Shakeology salesman, all right? Or it could be a lot more than that. Shakeology, come on, hello, greatest product at the beginning of man. <laughs> Not just coaches are using it, professional athletes are using it. Actors are using it. People in Congress are using it. I'm at, I'm at the congressional gym. Hey, man, I'm really into that psychology right now. I said, you should be a coach. Well, it can't be because, you know, Congress would want to be, but they can't. They're still drinking their psychology. <laughs> All right? But it's not everything. Your job is to understand your major, your first and number one goal is to help solve the obesity crisis. That's what it's all about. Start with health and fitness first and then build your pyramid from there. Does that make sense? <laughs> Last but not least, intention. Intention. You're going to do it with ego, grandstanding, look at me, ha ha, fancy cars, whatever. That boat will crash. Kaboom. You can either do it with your ego or you can do it with, with integrity. You decide. Get out of your comfort zone. The fact that you came here and did all those workouts, some of you did three yesterday. Whoa, hello, I'm saying you're out of your comfort zone. All right? That's the only reason why I'm as far as I am. Because I was the scared little kid with a speech impediment who had two left feet, who was picked last for everything except for dodgeball, like I said. And I kept doing things that took me out of my comfort zone, all right? Do scary things that don't kill you, all right? <laughs> Just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap, another goal. <laughs> Open, walk through. Open, walk through. You're not going to die. You're just going to get better. You're going to become more successful. And you're going to be happier. You're so good,